flakes form when water vapor freezes high up in the atmosphere. Every snowflake is made up of about 200 tiny ice crystals. Snowflakes can fall from the sky at three or four miles per hour. All snowflakes form into a hexagon, a shape with six sides. The largest snowflake ever recorded was 15 inches across. Pretty cool, huh? Can you figure out who I am? I have to be in great physical shape. I work in a cold environment. In 1998, my sport was added to the Winter Olympics. On the mountain, I ride in a half pipe, off jumps or downhill. In summer, I sometimes use a skateboard or surfboard for training. Who am I? A professional snowboarder. Make it. Today we're gonna make a snowy fruit salad. We have pineapple chunks, mandarin oranges, kiwi, banana, shredded coconut, and lettuce. First, we're gonna put the mandarin oranges and the pineapple in the bowl. Next, I'll cut up the banana. Mm. Small. Small and skinny. And I'll cut up the kiwi. Do you think we should cut them into quarters? Yeah. Now we pour everything into the bowl. Let's pour it in there. Okay. Now we have to stir. Does this look good? It looks ready. I'll pass out the plates. And the lettuce. And here we go. This looks really tasty. It does. Yes, it does. And last, we will add snowflakes. Coconut snowflakes. Looks good. Well, let's eat. Mmm, -hmm. the banana is good. The pineapple is really good. Mmm, the kiwi is good. Mm -hmm. Hey, Alyssa. What do you call a musical insect? A humbug! <laughs> <laughs> hey Skylar. What? What insect says one thing but does another? I don't know. What? A hippo cricket. <laughs> hey Nate. Yeah? What do you call a nervous fly? I don't know, what? A jitterbug! <laughs> hey Alyssa. What? What do you call a bee that's hard to understand? What? A mumblebee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's more amazing than a talking dog? I don't know. A spelling bee. <laughs> <laughs> Why do bees hum? Why? Because they don't know the words. <laughs> Brain play. Where would you be surprised to see a teddy bear? I would be surprised to see it in the middle of the road. In the pantry, sitting on my bike, in the water. <laughs> in a box. Probably in my brother's room. In a swamp. In daddy's coffee cup. Can you figure out who I am? I work in some of the coldest temperatures in the world. My coworkers and I dress in lots of layers. Where I work, some days the sun never sets, and other days the sun never rises. I have a thirst for adventure, but I must know wilderness survival skills, and I'm always prepared for anything with my backpack full of equipment. Occasionally, I get to work closely with rare wildlife. Who am I?
a polar explorer. Hey Mia. What? Where did the tornado say to the other tornado? Let's twist again like we did last summer. What do clouds wear on their hair? I don't know. Rainbows! <laughs> that looks nice on you. <laughs> <laughs> what happened when the snow woman got angry at the snowman? She gave him the cold shoulder. Hey, Skylar. What? What does a cloud wear under its clothes? Um, I don't know. What? Thunderwear! <laughs> Boom goes the underwear. What do you get if you cross a snowman and a vampire? Frostbite! <laughs> make it! Today we're gonna make roasted vegetable marinade. What will we need? Vegetables, oregano, basil, pepper, sea salt, diced garlic, ground mustard, rosemary, and olive oil. Okay, what's the first spice? So we take half a teaspoon of oregano, and we do half a teaspoon of basil, and then we do half a teaspoon of pepper, one half of sea salt. And that smells really good. Two diced garlic cloves, then a quarter teaspoon of ground mustard, then a tablespoon of rosemary, and last but not least, two tablespoons of olive oil. Now we just need to mix it up. Let it sit for five minutes so that way the oil will soften the hard herbs. While we're waiting, let's start to chop the vegetables. Let's get chopping. So we chopped up all of our vegetables <laughs> really and the marinade has been sitting for at least five minutes. So um, now we're gonna put all of our veggies in a bag. And then we put the marinade. Now it's time to pour the marinade in. So gooey. Now let's zip it up and now we're going to put them on a cookie sheet and they will go in the oven for half an hour at 400 degrees or um, until the vegetables are soft. And I think we might need some help with that. Yeah. <laughs> let's go okay. get some help. Whoop, let's go. <sighs> Smells so good. I know, right? We should eat it. Yeah. Let's try it at the same time. Okay. One, two, three. Oh my goodness. Mm. This is really good. Brain play. What would it be like if your brain picked up TV channels? I think I think it would feel like tingly up in my head because there, like you'd be picking up like wave like like TV waves and stuff. I'd be watching all day. It would be kind of weird because I wouldn't want to watch a certain channel, but it would pick it up anyway. I would watch movies all day long. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to focus because I'd be like too entertained with like the channels going around in my head. It'd be hard to study in school because you'd be watching TV and it'd be a mess in your brain because you'd have, you'd have to be doing something and then you would be like watching TV. Like if you're trying to do chores, your mother would be like, come on, do your chores. She'd be like. What do you call a group of people that use bendable musical instruments? I don't know. A rubber band. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of toy likes to rap? A yo-yo. What did the guitar say to the musician? Stop picking on me. What are the most musical parts of the body? Hmm. What? The organs. <laughs> That's a good one, Benji. Hey, Mia, why did the robot win the Walt contest? I don't know, why? Because he was a dancing machine. Oh. <laughs> Brain play. What are some different ways people laugh? Ha 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 
Mwah! Ah! 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 Hehehe! <laughs>